talk. No, you can talk. So, on poll today, Charlie Colby from Ricky, Jack Collins, Stuart Rand, Mason Weston, Tim Landell, Alex Bold, Matt Quisquill, <laughs> Jack Bram, and George Munns. That's a wearbrush. We're just about to go away. We are just waiting for one person. Here we go. Ten seconds. And we're away. Charlie Colby into the lead. <laughs> Pulling away pretty easily from P2. As they come across the timing loop, Charlie Colby comes along the line in the first. Ricky from Ricky, Jack, and then Stuart Rand. Stuart Rand in the orange car with Charlie Colby in the lime green car. As he comes across the line, taking a fairly convincing first position. Still followed by Ricky, Jack, Stuart, Tim Landell, Mason, Alex, Matt, Jack Bram, and George Munns. Charlie coming across the timing loop again, and he's now gained himself a decent lead, where the scramble for second and third position on the podium are still largely at bay. Jack Collins closing in on Ricky. Jack Collins in the white car with the blue stickers, and Ricky in the white car with the darker stickers. Charlie still leading this one fairly comfortably through that tricky straight and through the S's corner back on to the straight he wants to make a move Jack doesn't he J Jackie Jackie Jack boy wants boy. to make a wants to make a move on Ricky he's, he's getting more urgent every lap coming into the S's on the penultimate corner and it's the final corner and Ricky still leads from Jack whereas Charlie Colby uh, even higher lead than previously as we go down the grid, we've still got Stuart Rand hanging on to the back of Jack Collins with Mason, Tim, Alex, Matt, Jack Bram and George Munns rounding the grid. Charlie Colby now onto that straight before anyone can get a, can get a nibble at that first place. Stuart Rand closing in on Jack Collins for that all-important third position in the Drivers' Championship and the team championship between five of the leading clubs in the UK. Charlie Colby for Eastbourne. He's going to make it. Is he going to make it at Eastbourne lead? <laughs> Ricky holding. We are at the halfway mark, two and a half minutes. Ricky still holding off Jack Collins and Stuart Rand still closing in on Jack Collins but unable to make a move. Rounded off by Mason is the top five with Tim, Matt, with Tim, Alex, Matt, George, and Jack, and our bottom five currently. What's Jack Ricky? Collins really getting on the back Ricky of Ricky. Ricky driving for X-Ray. Jack Schum Collins for Schumacher. Rounding the back of Ricky. Charlie Colby also with Schumacher. It's is Schumacher X-Ray Schumacher Destiny. Destiny, Stuart, Rand, uh, Stuart Rand in the Destiny, something goes, slightly different. Oh yeah. Is, Schu Jack. is it going to be a Schumacher 1-2 with Jack and Charlie Colby? It certainly looks like it might happen. Jack is even closer to Ricky now. With the fastest lap held by Charlie from Jack Collins, who's actually got the faster lap than Ricky. So there's the potential down the straight. They are so close coming down the straight. Through the, the S's there. Still keeping on to the back of Ricky. No mistakes have been made in this final. Just shows the incredible talent of these drivers. Specifically Charlie Colby as well, leading this race. Although less ahead of the competition as previously. Is it going to get spicy onto the straight? They seem to have spaced themselves out that little bit more towards the end of the race. We've got 40-odd seconds to go till we hear the buzzer 
and the end of racing. So now Stuart Rand still holds fourth position behind Jack Collins, but slightly further back. Charlie Colby having to make it through some of the back markers. Is that going to cause him issues? Is Jack Collins and Ricky going to catch up to him in, those, in the last 30 seconds or so? Onto the straight, Jack Collins much closer to Ricky than la the previous lap. Jack looks like he's settling for third. He looks like he's going to have to settle for third in this race and just keep it on the track not to lose that all-important podium place. But although he's getting very close onto the straight, is he going to make a move in the next couple of corners? There's the, there's the buzzer. It's the end of the race. Jack Collins, he's nearly down the inside of Ricky. Whereas Charlie Colby comes across the timing loop. And there's a roll on the straight. Charlie wins from Ricky and Jack Collins. What a fantastic race. Followed by Stuart, Mason, Alex, Tim, Matt, George and Jack Brown.